All right, what is going on everybody? Physio Trader here. I'm going to do a trade recap. Unfortunately, ending the day red around $225. Uh, uh, red day overall in the market. Today starts to sell off after Evergrande or Evergrade or whatever it is in, uh, in China. It's kind of dropped the ball. They're way too much dead on their, on their sheets. And uh, either way, let's jump into it. So Started off today with just a $30 winning trade on Apple. You can see right there, plus 30. Um, so Apple's been falling apart. You know, here's one minute candles. Basically, the market started off really, really red. Gap down, everything basically gap down pretty aggressively. Um, and at this point, I was looking to, uh, right here, I shorted the market. So short sold, SSD for short sold. It'll say SSL until it becomes green. Um, Short sold at 143.94 would have paid off uh, plenty nicely, you know, 300 plus dollar move if I'd have just held on to those 100 shares. But of course, that's hindsight for you. Uh, covered for just an even $30 at that point was buying a little bit more dip opportunity because things were looking good. Um, uh, bought 100, bought another 100 at 142.87. And then bought one more hundred at 142.88, and at this point I was looking to close out, and uh, so that was the sell. And then here's where I'm buying the dip: buy, buy, buy. Here sold, and what I had sold right here, I thought I was selling all all um, 300, so I got 100, 100, 200. I ended up just selling 200, and then I took a loss on the remaining 200 because. Um, you know, it wasn't until this candle ended down here that I realized, wait, I was still in. Now, granted, in hindsight, that little turn of events would have actually worked out for me, um, in which case, uh, went and did some AMC. That's where I kind of lost over here on AMC. But um, let's just, uh, to make things a little more balanced here. So Apple kind of got out of this trend, started to show a little bit of reversal, but again, a lot of downward pressure. The S&P 500 holding strong, and then it was right here on this one that actually got 140 puts on Apple to expire next week, the following week. Um, thing went against me a little bit. I actually sold right around here um, to make around $80 back, 84. Um, so there's the trade overall right there. I made the $84 back on the uh, on the puts. Um, unfortunately. You know, hindsight, had I gone all the way down here, that would have been around another $400 winning day. So again, but that's hindsight. You don't know anything until you know it's already too late. So not upset about it. Um, this spike alone probably would have taken me to break even where I broke even on that, uh, where I sold the trade, not break even on the trade, but just where I sold. So uh, those realized gains would be gone. AMC, however, I was buying AMC on a little bit of a dip. Uh, way over here because things still looked pretty promising at that $40 mark bought a little bit more bought a little bit more um, They were still showing signs. I knew I was catching a falling knife, but it still was showing signs that um, We were really starting to slow down um, And then after here I ex ended up closing when we broke 40 um, and now we're at uh, 38 and change so 3884 over here on the level two so you know the the $287 loss I, I take I took would have been another, you know, 600 or so had I just kept holding and hoping and holding and hoping. So I had already given it way too much room, way more than it should have been. The loss should have been around a, should have been around 150 instead of the $300 it was and then the 84 to make it back. Either way, ending overall over here with a uh, $224 loss, so to speak. So um, but like I said over here, you can take a look. You can see Apple, um, and what you see with Apple, these are this is the daily candle, and uh, that's kind of where that uh, 140 put came from. Uh, I was thinking if we could break this thing, and I gave it two weeks to make you know fruition. I really felt that this thing was going to have a good downward pressure. Now this 50 period or 200 period average right here is the daily. Click over on the weekly. I don't see anything major. I mean, even 137 is a great price target. On the on the weekly, nothing really shows any sign of positivity over here. So I was pretty uh, pretty comfortable with them. Probably should have held on a little bit longer. Would have definitely uh, you know paid itself off. But uh, one more trade I took for the day was um, on UAL. You can see the the price change over here. So UAL. Um, I'm gonna take you back 
over here. So United Airlines, I got this bad boy on Friday. Totally forgot about it. Totally forgot about this. I got this on Friday. Market opened up at like 42 and change in pre-market. And then we just started to just massively grind to the upside. And so here, you know, like I said, we were way down here and then this was the first minute candle. And then at that point, I just threw out 300 shares at 44.90, got 108 off the table. And then I just started closing 50% uh, and then here was a stop. I was trying to see if this thing wanted to run because this morning I got stopped out and then this thing just flew down. Very, very happy that I was able to kind of close out that position. Walked away 119 overall, which you saw earlier. Um, so 119 on the actual shares uh, for that trade. And so, like I said, I actually forgot, completely forgot about that trade. I opened it up, never was able to close it last week. And so, hey, I'll take it. So um, that's it for me today. You know, no, you know, uh, it, it's a $225 loss is annoying. It's, it's certainly not going to break the account. I would much prefer to have been 225 to the green side, but like I said, either way, it's not going to kill anything. It's not going to, you know, destroy anything. And, and with this downside day that everyone else is having, a lot of people's 401ks, a lot of people's accounts are either going to get destroyed today, you know, 8% haircut that a lot of them are taking. I'm certainly not taking anything like that. So that's it for me. So thank you so much for watching. I appreciate your time. If you'd like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Uh, any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I love to respond and, and you always give me my thoughts if you have any questions like that. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all next time.